All right, guys, I'm going to come to you with a little project. Uh, I'm doing this for uh, something I want to do for the shop, but it's also a project I wanted to do. And I want to make a hand. All right, see about what, if I can forge a hand. And if, if I do that well, then there's more to the story. But uh, we'll work on each digit, bring those all together. I don't know what I'm going to do in this area. I might just weld them and then try to forge that into something. But uh, let's see what we can do with making a hand. In this particular case, I'll probably make the hand like this, and then if that looks okay, it's got to look okay, that's it, then in reality it's going to be curved more like that. And uh, we'll see what happens. Alright, just for the sake of simplicity, we're going to use rebar for this. I'm just going to try to get some of those marks out. I actually don't mind having a little bit of that rebar texture in this piece, but I don't want it to be totally obvious. And again, I'm going for the pinky here, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. It's probably going to be, you know, I'm just going to say, it's probably going to be easier than I think. I'm going to go, you know, kind of, I don't know, it's pretty narrow there. I was going to say try to go live side, maybe a little bigger piece. See about putting in some of these knuckle grooves. I thought I had a bigger fuller than this. I know I do actually. I wonder where the heck it is. So we'll go in up here just to give it a little definition for the nail. And then another knuckle back here somewhere. Another size of rebar, we'll make a couple more. Okay, so, this is the piece I started with up here. Uh, this handle just happened to be the size I want. I'm just going to nail that down a little. <clears throat> the next one I can use this size with.
I think I know where my other spring filler is. I think I gave it away. I did give away a lot of stuff. I figured I could just make another one. It was a quick and dirty one anyway. Okay, let me just go a little deeper to get rid of some of the marks. I'm just going to go a little farther here. Get rid of those marks. A little bit of a... Flatness on it, and we'll go up another side. <coughs> I'm at the middle finger now. I guess no, we can make it out of that same side. We just won't narrow it up as much, I hope. Alright, so this is supposed to be the middle finger. So I'm just gonna do what I can just to take the marks out. I 
think they'll get the idea. done as far as I'm going this is why you don't quench rebar because I quench the other end which I did the middle finger on and as I was hammering on this end guess what snapped right up that's what I'll lose it for I guess we got a thumb to do all right we'll do this thumb I don't know what size this is three quarter maybe seven eighths but the thumb is usually one of the bar gauges At this point, we're going pretty abstract anyway. If I can put my little grooves in there, I only got that one joint that's back here. sucker back around with the weld. Like I said, I know that thumb is going to be up here. But I need this mass back for a wrist for the hands. I'm just going to put that bit of a curve on it now. I'm not sure how I'm going to make everything up when we get done, but I hope we do. Looks kind of like a thumb. I ain't going to quench it though. Alright, we're going to see what we can do about piecing this thing together. It's something that looks kind of like a hand. Let's start with that pinky. Most of these are pushed down a little. So that pinky, I want to carry it all the way down to keep it. We're going to end up kind of mixing and mashing and adding steel and trying to create the palm. So this one I'm going to. Thumb. And that pointer will also be out of the thumb. So 
so we'll come out a little bit better. is more than just the thumb. It's actually going to tie everything together. So I want that to go out to here about Let's go ahead and weld this sucker up, see what we end up with. Just going to tack it for now. Like I said, I still have a whole lot of body to make up. One of my ideas was to do a skeleton hand anyway. That's kind of what I'm starting with. We're going to see where it goes from there. Chances are I'm just an idiot. But I'm used to being an idiot lately. So. So that's your thumb, and that's your pointer, and your pointer wants to get kind of right in that area.
happy. Get rid of this little piece out here. start to figure out what we're going to do. That gets me to about here. So we kind of got to fill in for the web parts. Kind of like that, that. And that's what I'll do is cut some pieces and get them, get them in there and then we'll see what that looks like. I think that makes sense. Filler, I'm not totally happy with it, but again, it's just for me, so I ain't making money, I ain't making money. There's no sense in putting time into something you're not making money on more than it needs to be. So that's why we're going to be a little of the here. Like I said, it's if it goes where I want it to go, it's going to be up in the air. Let's see if I can get to just tack and then maybe we can bend you down. of a hand looking thing for me. Same time, if somebody sees it, you don't want it to look like oh, I have a deep hole there. Well, I kind of wanted it. This or something a little narrower in diameter. Flatten that down, cut a channel in it so it can come up over the hand a little bit. I think will give me the look that I'm, I'm after. Or enough of it. I'm just afraid when I flatten this down too much, so it's gonna, well, it'll get, it'll get this wide. And I think we'll be all right. Let me put it in forge, we'll see what happens. Should I cut the channels in now? If I can get a bit of a taper on it, I'll try to narrow this end up just a little bit. 
I think uh, it's going to be straight up like that or just cocked a little bit. So let me get it to fortune. Alright, so I do want to narrow that one side. So we're going to upset part of this just to try to narrow it down a little bit before I flatten it. Because we do want the wrist the arm to be a little narrower than that joint going to the wrist. So again, by folding it and then hitting the upper parts, I'm hoping to uh, upset the, thick, the thickness of the wall, thus giving me a narrower spot there. You got to do it when it's pretty hot, though. I'm going to stuff this pretty thin. It don't stay very hot long. But hopefully you can see it looks no, it is narrower there than it is here. A couple more times. I found by heating just one side of it rather than all the way around, I get a little strength in that side that isn't as hot. Gives me a little more upset in the heat. the whole thing up we'll get that uh, yeah, we'll, close enough. we'll just get that shape to that flatness I'm after. Right, let's just get somewhere that makes Chandler happy here. Find the angle that we want. Get the flatness that we want. We can cut that, slide that over the hand. Make it look like something. I think it looks like transition to a hand. Alright, see what we got to work with here. I like that texture. It kind of looks like a the old hand that's a flatter part of the palm. So with that in mind, we need to do some cutting here. So I think we'll just come in I think that'll do okay. Let's on. I think we'll do just fine.
don't look too bad. Tack her and shape her a little bit there. I think, yeah, that's good. I like that little place to the left. I don't hate it, I mean. Let's see if we can get a wire reel on this thing just to give us some shape. chance it's not horrible well I'm okay with that just hit the corners and we'll shape it up a little Don't too bad. All right, now let me see if I can go ahead and close that up because I want it to hold on to something. I don't know, inch in diameter or something like that. So let's hope I can get those fingers to move, especially the middle finger where I had to weld it. We'll see. Let's see if we got enough heat on this. I don't want it to go in this kind. I don't want to hammer. 
remember that so I know it's super hot. I'll see you up again. We'll see what happens. I already see my weld fracturing, so I'm hoping that I can get this. Oh shoot, I don't have place to work. Ah, it's right on that fractured weld. Yeah. Fracture in the knuckle. That's right. It's freaking the way you go when you're a dumbass, Chandler. Yeah. Break it. I like to open it up a little though. We'll weld it up. That ain't horrible. Good thing I, the hand looks rough anyway. Let's get that index finger wrapped and maybe I can finish up that middle finger. Thumb's got to come around 90 degrees, and that's going to be scary. All right, I back to you, because I don't know if I'm going to be the end of the vice on this one. Because that thumb needs to come 90 degrees. Can't even hear you. Right, but it's close enough. Again, yeah, this is going to be 20 feet in the air. It's kind of the angle people will see, I think. I want to put a little heat on that. The end of that middle thing get it curved a little more. It's pretty straight. And then we'll see what we got. Uh, that 
suppose it don't look like anything. Even that clothes don't look anything. It will be kind of like this. I think I did that. That's too high for you. Too high for you. So maybe it'll be alright. Like that maybe. We'll see. Alright. Well, he ain't all beautiful. <laughs> Anyway, here it is. It's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. It really is. But for for what I I'm thinking of using it for, um, it might be all right. And again, it's just it's just for me. Um, it's part of something. That if I do it, I'll show you. But one thing you got is a one hell of a cool little hammer holder. Oops. <laughs> You hang that off the side of your anvil. <laughs> Hold on. Hang that sucker off the side of the anvil like that. And there you go. Now you got a place to drop your hammer. Of course, you have to tweak it a little bit. Uh, that would be a cool thing for it. Actually, it's going to, if I do it, if I continue with the project, I don't know. Maybe I will. Um, uh, hold a sword or a fake sword and right, just as a little demonstration or, or a, a, a decorative thing for outside the shop stick a sword in there and I think people from a from a hundred miles away would think it's pretty cool so what did we learn uh, actually I changed my mind I decided after looking at it and uh, everything I decided to use it for another purpose watch I'll show you so instead, I made it my flag holder. Pretty cool. Huh? Ain't bad. Aren't bad at all, if you ask me. Pretty damn cool. So that's where she is. Uh, I'm not sure all that texture things. I mean, they're there. Yeah, I suppose that, yeah, because you couldn't put them in now. You could put them in before you bent the fingers. The an anatomy is totally wrong. The fingers are too long and everything's shaped wrong. And, but it does give the illusion, so that was a project. And at least get a little forge time in with you. Um, nothing too exciting, but that's the way it is. So again, one first attempt at a hand kind of thing there almost looks like a hand there <laughs> ciao thanks for your support guys if you found this video uh, helpful educational maybe even if you just found it entertaining uh, and you want to support me you can jump back to my channel there's a button on the right hand side of the screen called support and it's kind of like a tip jar and go ahead and leave channel a tip for this video and that'll help me make some more I guarantee thanks for your support as always